With the holiday season in full swing, time is of the essence, especially when making food for guests. This week, we tackled a holiday meal head on with the help of a few as seen on TV products to streamline the culinary process and get it done in short order. Catapulting you into a new echelon of class is the lemon sprayer. It comes indiscreetly packaged for your convenience as a four-piece set, a squeezer, a base for your fruit, and two differently sized spray tops. Since the lemon sprayer is a sandbox game, it doesn't come with instructions. However, jabbing the sprayer into the lemon didn't start our quest off on the right foot. After slicing off the tip, the larger sprayer was easily twisted into place and rested firmly against the fruit. Giving it a few quick bursts, this thing actually works. So without further ado, we put it to the task. Laying out a fine mist upon this gourmet cuisine from the world famous Chef Gordon, Fisherman's, a snack fit for a king. The lemon sprayer is even perfect when you're on the go and need to freshen up before guests arrive. Little lemon spritz goes a long way, they say. Anyway, back to the squeezer. This is great if you like to slice a lemon, but not pinch it afterwards. Just slide the slice into place, press down on the top with your thumb. Immediately, the juices begin to flow and any seeds will be trapped inside the squeezer. As you can clearly see, it pours perfectly, getting most of the liquid into your container and leaving a little on the ground for the homies that we lost along the way, making the lemon sprayer a winner. Fresh out of the champagne room is the Cobb Corn Stripper, a handy tool to safely strip whole cobs of corn if you've never heard of a knife. While removing the packaging, Carefully remove the plastic sheet from the blade while avoiding the edges, because they're sharper than you might think. Upon closer inspection, it would appear that it works by cramming the cob through the center and the teeth should saw the kernels off effortlessly. In practice, the cob stripper works hard for the money and it was relatively easy to use at first. Once the corn is about halfway through, it requires a lot more effort to jam through safely, especially if you want to protect your golden tea thumbs. Pressing from the top down seemed like a better idea, but we encountered the same problem. Instead of forcing it, the idea is to grab the part of the corn that you've pushed through already, and then use that to pull the remainder through. You can't argue that this thing does a pretty good job. This cob is completely bare, ready to be put into a snowman's mouth once you turn it into a pipe. That being said, although the bounty is plentiful, we'd recommend going with the trusty $1 option here. After all, regardless of what it says, the Cobb Corn Stripper just wants your money. This next one's a quickie. It's an onion holder, slicer, cutter, odor, uh, apparently this thing does it all. Sliding them out of the bag, there's two hair picks being passed off as kitchen utensils. After removing their loving sleeves, you can see that the tines are made of metal and quite pointy. A truly versatile product, there's also a handle grip at the end of the pick for your next kitchen cosplay. Using this thing is pretty simple. Press it firmly into your food of choice, then slice between the tines. A traditional chef knife proved to be a tight squeeze, but the results were much better when a smaller knife was employed. Onions aren't the only thing this works on, of course. Cherry tomatoes are a breeze if you haven't been throwing them around. It's also an excellent way to slice a banana for public consumption. All in all, it works, and if you have problems holding things firm, it could be for you. But in most cases, skip the pick if you can stand it and save your money fro another day. Today's golden goose is Chef Tony's Turbo Roaster. This kitchen miracle claims to help you cook a beautiful bird in half the time using just a little bit of dark magic. After forcing the box open, you should have a small mason jar, a tube with lid, and some instructions. While exploring the box, a wild ring appeared and was placed between our jar and lid to ensure a proper seal. To test the turbo roaster, we snagged two turkeys of similar size and preheated the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. While that's working, go ahead and brush the bird with butter and add some spices. The rule of thumb is that you cook a turkey for 15 minutes per pound. With these two weighing around 15 pounds, that means they'd normally take nearly four hours to finish. Luckily, we've got a mason jar and a metal tube. After filling the jar with water, tighten the lid and slide the tube into your bird before putting them into the oven. Place the turbo roaster carefully, as it's going to want to tip over. Next, set the timer for two hours and take a load off. 
Checking on the turkey after around an hour, there was a slight reduction in the water level of the jar, and even a couple bubbles on occasion, but it's looking good so far. When time expired, the oven was shut off for a few minutes before taking a temperature read. Great, when you've got an internal temperature between 155 and 165 degrees Fahrenheit, it's safe to take your turkey out and rest it for a few minutes. Once rested, the turkey is ready to be sliced and served. We'll utilize the onion holder from earlier. It still sucks. The turkey was slightly mangled, but it was cooked through and very moist. Turkey number two is prepared the same way before being put into the oven, but without the added benefit of the turbo roaster, just to see how long this thing should really take. The turkey bag seems to have some elevated times here, recommending about four and a half hours. We'll keep an eye on it. When two hours had passed, the bird was checked on, and although nicely browning, not ready just yet. An hour later, we'd reached the desired temperature and the turkey thermometer was making itself known. After carefully removing it from the oven, success was confirmed when the turkey was sliced open, revealing a crispy skin and a white interior. While we're not sure how our oven cooked the normal turkey so fast, it doesn't change the fact that this unlikely contraption shaved off a third of our cook time. If you cook a whole bird even once a year, the Turbo Roaster is a good investment to get you out of the kitchen and into the dining room where you belong. Well, that's all we've got for you today. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. And happy Thanksgiving, Christmas, Mother's Day, Easter, Independence Day, Father's Day, Halloween, Valentine's Day, and St. Patrick's Day, New Year's from Household Hacker.